Hey you guys, I just got done filming the intro for my St. Patty's Day dessert video, so I thought why not film my review intro on the very same day. I've got my lucky shirt on and clover stickers on my cheeks. <laughs> just because. Why not? A little bitty disclaimer, especially for all you new faces on my channel, this is a review video, so that means that the people, every single person who sent a package in to me, wrote in their letter, Sarah, will you please give me tips on my items, will you please tell me what I can do better, what you like, what I could change, what, what I should leave the same. So that is what review means. I'm not mean when I say, you know, you could cut your tape a little bit straighter just to make it as perfect as you want it to be because these people want advice. It's like if you went to your art teacher or your English teacher and said, hey, what can I do to make my artwork better, my project better, my paper better? If you went to your coach and said, what can I do to make my times better for track and field or my routine better for dance or gymnastics? It's like that. It's just helpful advice, so don't say I'm a meanie because I'm not. I'm really not. Mean people don't wear clovers on their cheeks. Finally, I haven't done a review video or any type of mail video in a really, 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 really long time. I am very, very, very extremely, super, extremely to the max, extreme behind on packages and writing back to people and everything like that. I'm trying to catch up. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy seeing mail that people send to me. And without further ado, let's get into looking at the awesome packages. Thank you guys so much for sending these in. This package is from Rachel. She made a bracelet with some beautiful beads and a very secure knot. This neon beaded star, two duct tape bows. On both bows, the sides are really even. On this one, I like that the ends are both on the back. But on this one, you can see the ends here and also on the pink, so you should put those both on the same side. Now a Starburst wrapper bookmark. Just be sure that you cover the entire thing with tape because there's a little gap here. Finally, this really pretty duct tape pouch. It has a Velcro closure. On the inside, there's a lot of stickiness at the bottom, so try to cut back on that. I really like the ruffles and the colors that you used. You can maybe try to make the ruffles a bit more uniform in size. This side opened up, so be sure that when you're closing off the edges, you fold the tape over like you did on this side. Thank you, Rachel. These items are from Elise. There's a cute doodle, a pretty charm, and a duct tape bookmark. For the bookmark, I really like the colors of tape that you chose. The sides look really nice, so the only tip for this is just to cut the ends a little bit straighter. Here's Bubbles! And Bubbles carrying a purse. Thank you, Elise! This lovely card is from Hannah, aka Crafty Magician. The envelope is pretty much my favorite color ever. She sent me all this stuff. First of all, I really like your packaging. I like the green at the top and how you write what everything is. Here's a bag of beads that has some elefantes and lions and stuff. Then there's this under the sea bracelet. The knot is tied plenty of times so it's not going anywhere. These little straight ends were tucked into one of the beads but you could cut them even shorter so you don't have to do that. I think I'm gonna wear this bracelet for the rest of the video and you won't see it in the outro because a little secret, I filmed the outro right after the intro, so yeah. Next, there's two rainbow loom bracelets. There's a single, and then honestly, I don't know which design this is. I should, right? They're nicely put together, and I like the colors. They both use a C-clip. Personal preference, I do not usually end mine with such a large band. I usually either cut this and just connect the C-clip to the white band, or I use a capping band. Same with this one, I would use a capping band on this side and then put the C-clip in the middle of the white chain so you would have to add bands on each end and then connect it separately. Now we have some sunshine earrings. I really like the charms and the length of these. One of the charms just fell off and I put it back on because you don't have the jump rings closed well enough. There's a little tiny gap, so just work on closing them a little bit tighter. Here's a duct tape bow. I really like the shape and the pattern of duct tape, of course. For the piece in the middle, I would recommend having the end more on the back so you can't see it, and maybe wrap it around more than once as well. Next is this tie-dye duct tape pouch. I love the colors and the little penguin. It has Velcro and opens up like this, and there's the inside. Uh-oh. <gasps> You definitely want to fold tape over the edges like it is right here because as you could see it just kind of unstuck itself. 
because there's nothing over the edge there. The second tip is to try and just put one strip of orange tape at the bottom as opposed to having the two right there. And then thirdly, just cut a little tiny bit straighter. But I like the size and the design and the layout of this. Now we have this duct tape wallet, which is so pretty. I love this tape. It opens like this and kabam. I absolutely love the shape of this pocket over here. It opens like this and then it's a really nice pocket. On this side, there are three pockets and an ID and they're all nicely joined together. A tip would be to try to get this square piece of tape to be more incorporated in the design so it's not as noticeable. Finally, there's a minion dooby dooby doo and he's made of perler beads. This guy is really, really cute. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love it. Thank you, Hannah. Maddie sent me a drawing of a horse and of course all these other fun objects too. Now the horse is a princess and she made a little friend. I'm gonna wear this rhinestone ring while I show the rest of the stuff. There's a yarn bracelet, which is a really, really pretty color blue. It has nice stitches. I don't know if it's knitted or crocheted, but I do know that it's joined together nicely. I totally wanna do something like this on Rainbow Loom. Thumbs up if you wanna see. So I think the only tip is just to try to get the width of the bracelet a little bit more uniform. I've never made anything like this, so I don't know how difficult that is to do, but it's not super noticeable anyway. I really like the colors in your sand art, and of course that the bottle is a heart. And then we have this little beaded gecko. Everything looks pretty good. The beads are really close together and tight enough, and then the end is tied off well. Thank you so much, Maddie, for sending this stuff. Next, we have a package from Alyssa. The teddy bears say hi. Her packaging is pretty cool as well. Here we have some candy wrappers, because I like making crafts with these, and some pretty cool temporary tattoos. Peace sign. Lizard, shark, and flowers. There's these two pretty bracelets. I can't get this one over my hand because it's a thicker boondoggle. Oh, I got it. I got it. This is an S made out of hearts. I'm assuming clay hearts, but it's coated in some type of paint and glitter and it's so pretty. For this, I'd recommend maybe moving this top up a little bit so there's more of a gap and it doesn't kind of uh, close up when you put the paint on like this. But oh my gosh, look at the hearts. This is so pretty. Now we have an air dry Mickey donut. Oh my gosh, so this thing's so cute too. I love the style, the size, the colors. The thing that I would recommend is just to be a little bit more careful with the glaze because it did pull up at the bottom. And then in the middle of the donut, there's not actually glazed down there. So a tiny bit of the paint is like chipping off. So just be sure to glaze the entire thing and maybe not glop it up. But I like this. I like this a lot. Finally, our two scoops of ice cream. This one's zombie and this one is just vanilla with rainbow sprinkles. For both of these, I really like the texturing that you did. Alyssa, thank you so much for sending these items to me. I've got your bracelets on my wrists. Oh yeah. And one from Hannah too. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Next is a package from Daisy, aka Daisy Tube Town. Ooh, look at this. There's some candy wrappers in the wallet. For. This is a dark blue wallet, as you can tell, and it folds like so. Inside, there's this billfold. There's four pockets on this side, and I think I got them all. They all look like they're attached well, and the lines are nice and straight and crisp. And then there's this cool pocket on this side. I like the angled, angled pieces. Maybe on this little piece right here at the top, how it's like jagged, you could make it a little longer and fold it over so you can't see that. And if you want to get super technical, you could of course make this tiny piece a little bit straighter, but I mean, that's how my wallets look too. But I'm just saying that because I really don't have any other tips for you. I think it looks really, really great. Then we have this zebra drawing. I really like the style and the placement of all the stripes and designs. A review for this would just be to have more crisp edges so you can see how that just comes out a little bit on the marker so make that just flow more and be straight. And on a part like this, maybe add more of a pointed tip to those. Thank you, Daisy. This package is from Perla. Yay! Here we have some fun sticky notes, colorful paper, and these fuzzy things that you can color on. Also, she included a cupcake sticker for my little sisters, which is super nice. So many cool, cute, and colorful things. Beads, buttons, temporary tattoos, and this mini bowling pin, which is so cute. For the review portion of her package, she sent me these pretty bows. It looks like they're made out of some type of painter's tape. 
For this big one, I think it would look really cool if you put a smaller orange piece in the middle so the two sides of it would poof out more. I like the shape of these, but when you're wrapping the orange around, make sure that it's long enough to cover all of the blue because as you can see, there is a little gap right there. And make sure you're doing straight cuts. It looks like you ripped it there, but right here, it looks perfectly straight. Thank you so much, Perla, for sending these cool items. Oh my gosh, look at the owl stationery. This package is from Rachel. There's a really cute drawing and a birthday card. Then we have all these really cute doodles right here. And there's an elephant, a butterfly, a kid cat, and a donut. Then one of my favorite silly bands ever, the hedgehog, and a few items to be reviewed. This duct tape bow necklace is so adorable. We of course have a duct tape bow. Make sure that the end of that middle piece is out of sight so you want it to be on the back. The jump rings and chain are nicely attached and they're of a good quality. At the end you can see that there's links of the chain hanging off of the jump ring so I would recommend cutting those off and just leaving the one that is directly attached to the jump ring right there. For the clay charms, the eye pins and the toothpick are in nice and securely. The face on your little popsicle guy is really cute. I would just recommend smoothing out any nail marks. I like the sprinkles on your donut, and the style of your cupcake is pretty cool. Rachel, thank you so much. Hoo hoo. This package is from Jessica, and the mustache says bonjour. Ooh, these are really cool. These are giant safety pins with beads on them, and it's really nicely attached to the earring hook. The only thing I would recommend is maybe gluing the bottom because that can come undone pretty easily right there see Ooh, you don't want that happening guys I just keep putting more stuff on oh oh okay Here now another pair of earrings I really really like the beads and they're put together very well beautiful here are a couple of handmade rubber stamps so basically it's a block of wood and some foam there's a heart and a bow tie and I think they're really cute I would just recommend making the middle of the bow a tiny bit bigger of a circle looky it's a felt cardinal birdie birdie the ribbon on this is attached really nicely two sheets of best friend paper blue and red and then some glittery mustache tattoos Ooh la la. Jessica, thank you so much for sending these items. I really like them. Look, I have your earrings on. And not correctly, but they're on. Here we have a fun package from Emily. The eye pins are in really well on all of your clay charms. Be a little bit more careful to keep dust out of light colors of clay, such as this yellow. Also, you could put one more layer of black on Pac-Man's eye because you can see some of the clay through. On the mustache, you can see a little bit of the eye pin coming through the bottom. You can also see it on this S right here. Also be sure to glaze the sides of your creations as well. I really like the shape of your mustache. It looks very uniform. And again on Narwhal, just be sure to glaze all spots because you've missed a few, but very cute clay charms. Now we have this checkered duct tape bow. When you're wrapping the middle, make sure that the top part is the widest so you don't see any layers underneath. And there's a bobby pin attached well to the back. Now we have a pretty duct tape wallet. I like the colorful corners. It looks like this on the inside. The top of the billfold is coming undone. Thank you so much, Emily. Here is a really pretty flower necklace that Emily sent. The pendant is nicely connected to the organza ribbon chain. The paper flower is coated nicely in some type of Mod Podge or glue. And then the center is a bottle cap with another flower inside that says love. You could center the middle a tiny bit more by moving it over to the right. And here we have the back of the flower, which is super pretty as well. The bottle cap is connected well. I would maybe recommend putting one more layer of the glue on here, but it's okay as is. Thank you so much for this beautiful necklace, Emily. These awesome crafts were made by Amber. Here are some pop tab pieces of jewelry. So there's a bracelet and a pair of earrings. The bracelet is connected nicely by a craft lace and it has a secure knot on the inside. I really like the shape of the earrings and the earring hooks are nicely attached. Since you're using duct tape to keep these together, make sure that the seams on the duct tape are only showing on the back. This clay bow charm is really cute, but the eye pin is a little bit loose. 
Here is a zipper necklace. It's connected well to the ball chain and it's sewed together nicely. I think the heart shape would be even more defined if you twisted both ends of the zippers before sewing at the bottom. I like the colors of wrappers that you chose for your candy wrapper bracelet and all of the findings and chain are connected nicely. Finally, these chain tassel earrings. I really like that you used colorful chain on this. Thank you, Amber. This next package is from Madison and look at this, the same kind of mustache tattoos. As the bag says, there's buttons in here. Some horsey temporary tattoos. Aw, it's a donkey. Hi. What is wrong with me? There's horse tattoos, so you're horse. We have a bag of pop tabs. Guys, you have to see this. TP and Pooh clay charms with faces. Oh my gosh, genius. This clay charm is a pair of sunglasses. I'd recommend putting this side going the same direction, so like going out, so you can actually attach a jump ring to that eye pin. Or you could just get rid of this eye pin and maybe just connect the jump ring right here only. The other thing is that it's spinning, so you maybe want to add some TLS before you put the metal piece inside and then maybe glaze it to hold it better. I'm wearing sunglasses. Whoa. <laughs> Now we have some really pretty and colorful duct tape bookmarks. Here's the polka dot and hot pink one. Ooh, I really like the diagonal stripes and the different colors and patterns you used here. Back is black. This one has more fun stripes and then a silver back. Finally, more stripes and checkers with a checkered back. And look at this, it's a duct tape purse! I really like the length of the strap, so perfect length. Instead of using clear tape to hold the bow on, you could probably either cut a thin strip of pink and like make it blend in with the middle there, or use tape loops to put a couple on the back of both purple sides and the middle, and that will hold it on well. I like your trim in all of the lines. Has Velcro, and then the inside looks like this. Thank you, Madison, for all the awesome stuff. This package is from Sophie. Look at how cute this card is. Here's some wire daisy ribbon, it's bendy. Two pads of really pretty heart sticky note paper. Some colorful pom-poms. This is mixed fruit juice, but it says, do not eat, it's an eraser. There is indeed a square eraser inside. Finally, we have some cute play charms. Oh my gosh, look at this. The eye pin is in well. I love, love, love the stars on the top and the dollop's really pretty. I love the colors and the way that you wrapped the frosting inside. Oh my gosh, the filling I meant. It's up to you, but maybe a tiny bit more texturing around the edges because I know that they're pretty crumbly around the edges. And then there's a little part of the cream that isn't twisted, so just twist that like one more time and then it's perfect. On um, these two, the eye pins are in well as well. Here's a burger slash sandwich. For the top bun, maybe use something like a toothbrush to give it a more realistic texture. I love the colors on this cupcake and the swirl on the base. Keep the clay a little bit more clean because there's some dust dust in it. The final two charms have loose eye pins. They just kind of turn a little. This is another really cute cupcake and I like the glaze. And a hot dog. Maybe make it so the entire line of mustard is connected. But this could be a stylistic effect too because it kind of looks like the mustard ran out at the end. You know, the bottle's like empty. So either way, I like your stuff. Thank you, Sophie. Here is a package full of awesome things, and it's from Caitlin. Here we have a coin pouch made from juice pouches and duct tape, and it is very nicely constructed. Here's a pretty duct tape hair bow. I would move the yellow piece in the middle over more because the two sides are different, and I would also make sure that this little seam is only showing on the back. I would recommend giving your gecko a little bit longer of a tail and then using a different color of beads for the eyes. Here is a duct tape flower pencil and it's actually a pretty cool style. On this bow bracelet, I of course like the cupcake duct tape, but make sure that none of the back of the tape is showing on this side. Here we have some really pretty bottle caps, some drawings, boondoggle, a pretty stitch of friendship bracelet, and a Tweety Bird Silly Band bracelet that is connected nicely. Here's a page of really cute doodles. Oh my gosh, look at Elephant and Callie, the kitty cat. I have a cat named Callie. Then this colorful jelly roll design. Some star stickers, Play-Doh textures, and a braided piece of pre-wrap. Three duct tape wallets. 
On this one, I would add the pink trim to the top as well. Be careful with your cutting to make sure that it's not as rigid. And it opens up like this, and there's a billfold. And it also has a pocket right here. Then we have this blue flowery one, billfold here, and some pockets on this side. Be careful when you're attaching pieces to not get creases. Then this leopard print wallet, it opens up to show these pockets over here. Again with this, make straighter cuts and also try to line up the edges of your tape. Then there's an ID in the middle and then you kind of turn it like a page in a book. And there's this pocket here, I like the uh, triangle cut out. And another pocket on this side. And then there's actually two billfolds in the top, so there's a lot of room in this wallet. Here's a colorful pop tab bracelet. I love that you painted this and put a design on it. Now some clay creations. I really like that every letter on my name is a different color. Here's a chibi and I really like the poof on top of her head. The eye pin is in well. You guys all know how much I like cute little hedgehogs so the texturing on this guy is really cool but I would recommend when you're painting on the eyes to be a little bit more careful because it does look like one eye instead of two. On the cupcake, I really like the different colors of green that swirl together on the frosting and I like the bead in the cherry. When you're adding lines in the base, try to do it with a little bit more of a pattern. Caitlin, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people really like seeing everyone's handmade crafts and getting inspiration that way. So I do wanna to continue to do these videos. I have tons of packages like I said already that I still need to film. I'm really behind. I'm sorry. I hope you guys forgive me. So I'll be doing mail videos more regularly. I hope. I hope. Fingers crossed. Check out all of my links in the down bar, especially to my Instagram because I love Instagramming. I also have a Twitter and a Facebook fan page. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you to everyone who has sent packages in for this video and all the future upcoming videos, I do have all your packages safe and sound in bags and sorted and everything. So if you didn't see your package in this video, don't be alarmed and don't freak out and worry because I probably have your package safely tucked away and it's just waiting to go into a video. So that's enough rambling and talking and stuff. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So. Huh? Right? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Birdie goes tweet. Birdie goes tweet. Frog goes ribbit croak ribbit. Shake it up. <laughs> I really honestly forgot that the camera was on for a second. I don't know.